Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا يَنْتِقُ عَنِ الْحَوَى إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوْحَى That Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not converse or talk with his will other than only what was revealed to him in his revelations. So according to this verse, the source of hadith and sunnah were the revelations which were brought to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with through Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salam. Similarly, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself said, Inni uti tul qur'ana wa mithlahu ma'ahu. There is absolutely no doubt, there is surely no doubt that I have been given the Qur'an and something similar to it with it. And what is similar to it with it is Hadith and Sunnah. Now, how did all this happen? When Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salam came down and he brought a revolution of the verses of Qur'an to the Prophet wasallam, he recited it and then it was entered into the memory of Prophet ﷺ in the Quran. Then he used to come as a teacher of the companions and he used to recite the revealed verses. He used to recite the revealed verses. He used to teach them the revealed verses and he used to make them write it down, put it down, different ways of writing inshallah we'll be talking about them in future. And then the companions used to write them down and they used to memorize the verses which were revealed at that occasion. These verses which were put in the memory of Prophet ﷺ and the companions, which was recited by the Prophet ﷺ as the verses of Quran and by the companions as the verses of Quran and which were written down by the companions as the verses of Quran. These have been called as the revealed revelations to the Prophet. These were the recited revelations to the Prophet ﷺ. Beyond this, there was another set of revelations which are called as the concealed or the hidden or the non-recited revelations to the Prophet ﷺ. What was this? After the verses were revealed by Hazrat Jibreel to Prophet ﷺ, then Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salam used to explain the revealed verses, explained all the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, used to explain these revealed verses in the words of Allah to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. These explanations by Jibreel alayhi salam, which were not in his own words, these descriptions of those verses, these explanations of those verses were strictly in the words of Allah. These words of Allah were not written down as verses of Quran. These verses of Allah, words of Allah were not recited as verses of Quran or were not memorized as the verses of Quran. They were the concealed, they were the hidden, they were the non-recited revelations. And these were these were taught to the companions by the Prophet ﷺ when he talked, that is as hadith, and when he acted, that is as sunnah. So there it is. If I summarize now, that the source of hadith and sunnah was through hidden revelations, and hence the source of Quran, the source of hadith and sunnah is all through revelations. And this is all zikr. And Allah has taken charge of keeping and protecting and securing all forms of zikr. May it be the Quran, may it be hadith and may it be sunnah. So Quran, hadith and sunnah are complete. They are perfect. They are safe. They are secure and they can all be acted upon and they have to be all acted upon.